What up, ladies and gentlemen? We are taking a look at um, the Pendulum Post Lab. This is going to be a quick little version of the notes on um, some of the graphs that we created. Um, so first things first, you can see the four targets here. Um, key idea for today is actually going to be surrounded by this idea of correlation and root mean square error. Um, you're going to see this is going to be a great determinant on um, what's going to be uh, a straight line and what isn't going to be a straight line. And you'll see these three other targets is basically say, is it a linear relationship? Is it no relationship? Or is there some other type of relationship such as a um, square relationship or even an inverse relationship between the two? So uh, take a quick look here. Correlation and root mean square error. Here are two definitions. Correlation is the idea of how close of a linear relationship is there between the variables. You will note that our correlations, our best correlations will be plus one or minus one. A plus one means that there's a positive correlation. A minus one means there's a negative correlation, which means it's going to be a downward slope. Um, 0.99 or 0.999 is really good for us. In physics, anything below a 0.98 is usually kind of getting iffy. Um, if you get into like psychology, they look for correlations of like 0 0.6, 0 0.7. Um, business models write a, a little bit higher than that, but in our physics world, we usually see really nice correlations. Again, it tells a nice linear relationship. Root mean square error is going to be how far away the data is from your best fit line. Um, of course, your goal in this case is going to be zero. You don't want any, you want all your points on the best fit line. However, we do give ourselves about 2.5% of the highest value for that to happen. So that means you take your highest Y value, you take 2.5% of that, and um, you hope that your root mean square error is less than that. Um, so uh, the way that I like to think about this is correlation is going to be how close are you walking the line? Root mean square error is how far away from the line are you? So you can kind of see a good um, piece to that. So I um, actually just kind of grabbed um, a group's data here of the period versus mass. And um, you can see their slope is about um, 6.5 times 10 to the negative fifth. You'll notice that that is a very small number. The correlation is 0.65. So right looking at this, you're like, yeah, you know what? This is probably not, these two variables are not correlated, which means there is no relationship between these. Um, so an easy way to tell if there is no relationship between the two variables. First, you'll notice a slope that is basically zero, and the correlation then should kind of go along with that, being like, you know what, it's, there is no positive or negative trend in this case. Um, it just means that these variables, there is no relationship. As mass increases, the period is not going to change. So does mass affect period? The answer is no. There's no relationship between them. Um, of course, there is a different example that we saw, um, and this is going to be the period versus the length. And we look at this, and you'll notice, you kind of look at these, they're like, well, the correlation ain't bad. 0.98, I mean, you look at it, you say, is there a way that I could get that better? Is there is there a better um, direct relationship in this? And then we look at the RMSE as 0 0.08. Like I said, we give ourselves about 2.5% of the highest Y value. So I take this Y value, which is 1.8, and I multiply it by 2.5%. Um, the other way that you could do this very fast, 1% um, of 1.8 just means move the decimal place over two times, so you get 0 0.018. For our purposes here, I'm going to say 0 0.02. So that's 1%. If I want 2.5% of that value, what am I going to do to that number? I'm just going to multiply it by 2.5. So 2.5 times 0 0.02. Well, you'll notice that we'll have 0 0.05 in this case. So you'll notice that that is 2.5% of our 1.5 value. And I look at that, I'm saying that is how far away I am going to give our data to be off from our line. And I look up here and I'm like, you know what? It's actually a little bit further from that. I mean, we're looking at probably about 4% um, 
that we're off with our data. And with our stop watching values, we might be able to agree with that. But then I noticed something a little bit different. And this is where our whole class is going to go tomorrow. Is if you notice this, we can actually kind of look at this line here. And we can say, you know what? Maybe it isn't a direct relationship. Maybe this line is actually curving upwards. And what we can say is maybe period squared is proportional to length. And this is going to be the key idea which is going to lead us into our next video as well as um, where the whole new lesson is going to come from, our new piece for this unit. So keep that in mind, kind of keep in mind the saying this is not a straight line. And the next question is how do we deal with that? And the reason why it's not a straight line, again, it does not fit our correlation or our MSC. So those are our two pieces in order to tell if it's a straight line or not. So thanks for listening and um, be ready for another video that looks at how to take care of this problem.